topic we want to talk about for your term test one is opportunity cost. So the definition of opportunity cost is that it is the value of the next best alternative. So in other words, it is the value that you sacrifice to obtain your best alternative. So one of the examples will be that you have two choices. So the first choice is that you can consume burger. But the second choice is you can consume coke. But if you choose to buy burger, the value or the joy that you give up for the coke is your opportunity cost. And your opportunity cost has two parts. So the first part is explicit cost. So go back to our burger and coke example. So the price of the burger that you spend out is your explicit cost. And the second part of your opportunity cost is the implicit cost. So the joy that you give up from consuming burger instead of consuming coke is the implicit cost. And one of the key for opportunity cost is a, is a production possibilities function or PPF line. So the PPF line describes the relationship between the item X and item Y for unlimited resources. So it combines all the points that you can consume for limited resources. So for example, you have limited labor. So you, you, can, you, you can only consume a limited amount of X or limited amount of Y. And so there are three areas on the PPF line. So the point inside your PPF line, such as point A, is attainable, but it's not efficient. It's attainable because we can attain this point. So we can get to point A by using the, the limited resources, but it's not efficient. So the reason why point A is not efficient is because that if you move up to the line and get to point D, we can see that from point D, we consume the same amount of X, but we can consume more Y by using up the resources we have. So that's why point A is attainable but not efficient. Then let's look at our point B. We can see point B is on our PPF line, so it's attainable. And by consuming the point B, we use up all of our resources. So point B is also efficient. The last area we want to look at is the area of point C. Point C is outside our PPF line. So it means that we don't have the resource to get to point C. So our point C is unattainable. This our topic is opportunity cost. So the calculation of the opportunity cost is important for term pass one. So look at our formulas for the calculation. And we know the definition of opportunity cost is that the value that we gave up to obtain our best alternative. So the opportunity cost of X will be the Y that we gave up to obtain a little bit more of X. So it's a negative of the first derivative of Y regarding X. And the opportunity cost of Y is defined to be the X that we give up to obtain a little bit more of Y. So opportunity cost of Y is equal to the negative of the first derivative of X regarding Y. And this we know the relationship that dy over dx is equal to 1 over dx over dy. So when we translate the relationship to our opportunity cost, opportunity cost of x is equal to 1 over the opportunity cost of y. Then let's go over types of questions that can be asked in your opportunity cost topic in your term test 1. So the first type that will show up in the term test will be calculate the opportunity cost. So let's go over the steps that you can use to calculate all the opportunity costs, no matter it's x or y. So the first thing that we have to know is the PPF function. So from the graph that we just talked about, we know that the PPF line is the, is the expression of y 
the combination of X and Y that we can consume for limited resources. So Y will be a function of X for our PPF line. And the second step we have to do is to calculate the first derivative of Y regarding X by using our PPF function. And the third step is we substitute the value of X to get opportunity cost of X. Things we know that opportunity of cost of X is defined to be the units of Y that we have to give up to obtain a little bit of X. So the opportunity cost of X is equal to the negative of dy over dx because we want the number to be a positive. And from the third step, we know the opportunity cost of X. And we know opportunity cost of Y is equal to 1 over the opportunity cost of X. So as long as we have the PPF line and we know the first derivative, so by substituting the x in our opportunity cost of x function, we can know the opportunity cost of x. And if we take the inverse of the number, we know the opportunity cost of y. So the second kind type of question that can be asked in topic one will be how to maximize the total utilities. So to maximize your total utilities, there are two functions that you have to use. So the first one, we need the expression of total utility as the expression of x and y. So we have u is equal to function 1, which is a function of x and y. And the second function we need is our PPF function, which has a relationship between y as equal to f2x. So our first step in the calculation is that we are going to substitute y is equal to the function of x to our total utility function. Because you can see that y is equal to a function of x, and y also shows up in your first utility function. So when we substitute y to the first function, your total utility will be a function of x. So y disappears by the substitution. So the question asks us to maximize our total utility. So from your calculus course that you know to maximize a function, you have to derive the first derivative and set it to be zero. So as we obtain the function of u regarding x, we set du over dx as equal to zero, and we solve for the x. So the x that we solve here will be the amount of x that will enable us to maximize our total utility. So by substituting the x to the function that we have already derived, we are going to calculate the total utility that with the number of x and y that we can obtain. So let's go over some of the example questions from your old term class. So the question we selected for opportunity cost come from your fall 2011 term class one. The question give us a PPF function y is equal to eight multiplied by 400 minus x squared to the power of 0.5. And the first question tells us that the value of x is 12 and the value of y is 1 to 8. y is on the PPF line. And what is the opportunity cost of y? So as we have just talked about, we need the PPF function to calculate the opportunity cost. And we, the first step we need to use to calculate the opportunity cost is that we always derive the first derivative of y regarding x. So dy over dx is equal to 8 multiplied by 0 0.5, 400 minus x squared to the power of negative 0 0.5, multiplied by negative 2x. So if we simplify the function, we get that dy over dx is equal to 8 x multiplied by 400 minus x squared to the power of negative 0.5. And the third step, we substitute value of x. And the question tells us that x is equal to 12. So by substituting x is equal to 12 to our dy over dx, we know that dy over dx is equal to negative 6. But our opportunity cost is a negative of dy over dx. So our opportunity cost of x is equal to negative dy over dx, which is 6. But the question does not ask 
as the opportunity cost of x. The question asks us that what is opportunity cost of y? But we know the relationship that opportunity cost of y is equal to 1 over the opportunity cost of x. So it's equal to 1 over 6. So that's why our answer for this question is D. So the second question give us a value of x is equal to 16. So what is opportunity cost of x? So as we know that the first several steps of calculating the opportunity cost will be the same. We need our PPF function and we need to derive the first derivative of y regarding x. So we can use the first derivative that we calculated in your first question, dy over dx is equal to 8x multiplied by 400 minus x squared to the power of negative 0.5. But the third step will be different. So the first question asks is equal to 12, but the second question asks is equal to 16. So we have to substitute x is equal to 16 to our first derivative of y regarding x. So when we put the x is equal to 16 to the function, dy over dx is equal to negative 10.67. And the question asks us, what is opportunity cost of x? So opportunity cost of x is equal to the negative of dy over dx. So the opportunity cost of x is equal to 10.67. So the answer for the second question will be h. Then it comes to the third question. The third question is a little bit different from the first two, and it's a second type of question we just talked about. So when we know the PPF line, and we know the total utility u is equal to x multiplied by y squared, so what is the value of x to maximize our total utility? So the question gave us the two functions that we need to maximize the total utility. And we know that u is equal to x multiplied by y squared. And the first step we use is by the substitution. We know y is equal to 8 multiplied by 400 minus square to the power of 0.5. So we can express u in the function of x by substituting y is equal to the PPF function. So u is equal to x multiplied by 8 400 minus x squared to the power of 0.5 to the power of two, to the power of 2 so this part is the value of y that we substitute from our PPF function so if we simplify the formula here we get u is equal to 25600x minus 64 x to the power of 3. So we get expression of u in a function of x. And our purpose is to maximize the total utility. So from your calculus class that you know to maximize total utility, we have to derive the first derivative du over dx and set it to be 0 to solve for the x. So du over dx is equal to 25,600 minus 64 multiplied by 3 multiplied by x to the power of 2. And we need to set the first derivative to be equal to 0. So by solving this formula, we solve for the x. So x is equal to 11.5. So when x is equal to 11.5, the first derivative of du over dx will be equal to 0. And at this point, our total utility will be maximized. So the answer for the third question will be f.